Hey, good morning. It's a seed from the church office. We're here. Every day's a holiday with Jesus. But today's Sunday, the spiritual market day of the week. In other words, we come in here with our shopping carts, which is our, our heart, and uh, we load up for the next few days. Then Wednesday, we have another fill-up. We make a uh, another pass at the uh, Bible study and fill up again. But uh, I encourage you, gather together, worship together, study together, pray together. Remember the old saying, the family that prays together stays together. But today I'm preparing my heart for the service. It's coming to the end of summer, getting ready for September coming up. A lot of things on the menu, a lot of uh, things happening in the world in rapid succession, if you notice. Everything is shaking and baking out here. The weather, the, the countries, the, you know, it's funny, the Bible put it all together on a road map, so... We use that book for our daily lives. And I was in Isaiah this morning, chapter 6. Interesting chapter where Isaiah was called by God to work for him. You know, God was calling him like he did me years ago. He said, hey, Santos, I need you. Let's go. You ready? And uh, this is the verse I was looking at, verses 6 and 7 in Isaiah chapter 6, where Isaiah was, uh, you know, he loved this king, King Uzziah, and all of a sudden the king died and it was like uh, God, he looked up. Isaiah looked up to get uh, direction. Look up, look up. Isaiah chapter six, verse six. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. Verse seven. And he touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your iniquity is taken away and your sin is purged. Verse eight. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And then I said, Here I am. Send me. Oh, boy. There's nothing like going for God. Sometimes you look like you're going to just walk off a cliff into thin air. What are you going to do, God? How am I going to handle this? You know, right now, late yesterday, we had uh, the nation of Haiti got hit with another earthquake. Ten years ago, they were devastated, and yesterday, the one was even stronger. Pray for Haiti right now. Pray for God's uh, Samaritan's Purse. If you look online, they send, send in relief packages, and they'll be sending stuff there. And But pray. Pray right now that God would uh, somehow show himself strong in that situation. And there's a lot of believers there. I know a lot of Christian work that goes on there, but uh, the challenge is enormous. It seems impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Remember that. Ask God to show you. That coal represented the Lord just cleaning me and burning it out of me. I, I was just reading a little something which uh, the Hebrew word seraphim means to burn. And uh, the coal that touched his lips, it wasn't to burn him up, but to build him up. It cauterized the flow of iniquity from his lips. That's what God did when he touched me. He cauterized me. And so he cleaned me out. Cleaned me out and now I can be of use to people instead of a, wow, I used to be like, they didn't want to go around me. But uh, the Lord will do that for you. I could go on all day, but the Lord bless you, keep you, hold you in the palm of his hand. Lord, we just lift up the people of Haiti. We lift up all the relief that's kind of... Uh, bearing up to go there right now, meet all their needs, Lord. And I pray little miracles would happen out of that devastation in that country for those people. Lord, we pray for them today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Keep the faith. Go to church. The spiritual market. Fill up.